even I will not be able to patiently watch that video. I usually like to watch my videos like a year later to see what I was up to and it just gets me like how fast the life goes, how the time flies, amazing, how everything is running fast and all. I was like, oh gosh, I have the whole room of supplies, what I probably not going to be able to use in my lifetime. Like, try every stamp, every Martha Stewart, every punch, everything. I doubt I'll be able to in this lifetime, at least. How the life goes, not necessarily very healthy. But I hope to live long. But still... Yeah, even if you live long, you have to have a vision, great and all, if you don't want to wear glasses and all. Oh, that came out shimmery, the specific, specific donut came out so shimmery. Yeah, this brush is working out much better for me. This is a little too thin, it's for something different, I would say. Lindsay Ranch recommended to dry out your branches like that flat horizontally because if you don't they might be you know um losing the sh shading in the end and you're gonna lose your bra uh, brush so if you care for them just set them horizontally i care for my brushes i think they're precious Not a big fan on green on donuts, but it's a frosting, frosting, icing. Icing could be any color nowadays. It used to be just pink and kind of reddish, but nowadays anything goes. For the donut itself, I'm going to use a different palette, not shimmery, because uh, it doesn't need to be shimmery. It's not an icing, it's not a force. So, just, oh, I'm using the wrong word. It's not a force either way. Sorry. You know what I mean, though, that part. That part. The frosty part. By the time I color that, the rest of them are drying out, and I actually can uh, cut it pretty soon too. Okay, I need yellow. Is there? Maybe that is a yellow. Maybe that is a yellow. I'm not sure if I'm in frame even. Uh oh. I might be not, might be not in frame, hopefully now. Well, that's not quite yellow. It's pretty much like kind of like a greenish yellow. Okay, still would work. Uh, when it's drying out, it tends to be like lighter. And Lindsay Ranch told us, she's my big teacher. I really like into her and watch all of her videos and all. So she was, uh, she learned from a real artist and she decided to pass her knowledge on, on um, to students like us. Students. So she said that the colors are uh, tan, colors tan to be lighter when they dry out, like any watercolors. So I know it first hands they do. And I think I need more pink. 
Because I love pinkish stuff. Pinkish, pinkish, beautiful. With some lipstick. Lipstick pinkish. Doesn't have any names on that palette. But it's good enough. For the dollars I paid for that shimmer. Imagine how much shimmer it is. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable deal, I thought. I would grab them today, today too, but oh well. And another day I saw planners in the incredibly great planner says hello. And the company, I don't know the name of it, not recollection, no, but the gold Biden, Gold rings, not a spiral, real rings, great inserts, perfect everything, even the ruler, dividers, all kinds of goodies in it. For $17 on clearance in Michaels. So I was thinking there was like hundreds of them laying around, maybe 20. So they were like laying there and I was like, oh, 17 dollars, I have to think about it. It's like a lot of money, you know, but those planners were amazing. It was two days ago. Next thing you know, I came two days later and no one was there. Not even one insert, not even one notepad, nothing. I was wondering who could grab it all. Or maybe people just saw that an incredible deal because they are like 39 everywhere, 40. Like 39 plus taxes and here in 17. Unbelievable dollars. It would be like about the best 17 dollars I ever spent. So I was like, Jesus, I wish I would get it back there. What I was thinking. It's like working out like this. If I don't grab something, stuff right away, right, right away, like, right away without delaying. Okay, this is good, white one. So, I would be just regretting about it later, and regretting, and regretting, and regretting. So, I would advise to myself, if I see something neat, if I see something cool, I should just go for it. Because $17 you can make, but this deal on on amazing planners. And the color was just unbelievable. It was some kind of like, like light, light lemon, almost whitish kind of lemon color. And uh, the dots were all over the place. So whoever got that planners... They were so lucky, people. And I'm sure people are faster than me because I'm having a headache. Sometimes it takes me a while to process the information. And like today, I was applying for a job and I needed to put my social security number, right? And I was like thinking forever, what is it? I remember last four digits because everywhere they ask me for the last four digits. No one ever asks for the whole social security, so I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, done this, that. I should place that here, I guess. Just because I will know that way, which is good for that specific uh, stem set. Look how water is shimmery. Oh, look at that shimmer. It's all ghost waste. Oh, maybe I can make a spray out of it. Exactly. Homemade spray. Sure. That will be working out great. That could go in too. But yeah. Let it dry for a minute before I get into cut die cutting. And the whole reason I'm doing this, it's because I wanted a hole in it. I'll show you the last one I did. So... The, the one I did in the morning was that one. Oh, shit. No, no, no. My storage. And I all, I did it all like this. Um, it's already a shaker card. This is pre-made. 
so and I did it all without a hole and only one I ended up with a hole and I loved it so I had I had to have the whole bunch of these souvenirs without a hole which could work as a bubble for the wobble card you kind of place it on and wobble wobble I have a wobble spin and all and this one would be just as a embellishment decoration and the tag I will uh, make later because I already showed how I made the tags. So, okay. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna cut it all. First, I'm gonna cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. For this thick paper, I wouldn't really bother this the trimmer, paper trimmer. Because it doesn't matter anyways how I cut it, like, really, like, um, straight, not straight, it's just, it's gonna go two ways anyways, so. And see how watercolor dries out quick? This, um, uh, acrylic, I have all kinds of shimmery acrylic, right, from Martha Stewart and all that nice, nice, expensive palettes and all bottles but it would dry for like a day and tomorrow i will be able to cut it only so now the first batch is pretty much ready just gonna get this going and where did it go yeah it's right here right here oh shimmery oh my gosh for that i use this masking tape it works out perfectly perfect perfect so that way, leave a little bit of room in there around it, place it on the taper, on the tape, get a little bit of that going, and I usually place it in, in order not to take this out, and I'll be back with the cut ones. So that's how it turns out. Except of this one, I'll be coloring. It's easier oh, with the different palette and all. So in this one, you ended up with nice frames like this that you could use as a for a charm, and they are all very shimmery. I mean, they're border. Or I will place some statements inside, and it will be like nice embellishment somewhere on the page. Nothing goes to waste. Remember. So it's all good, and it's all good to go now. So that was my process of making baking donuts. Yay! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like it. You like my process. I know I will like it in a year or two to watch it again. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Bye.